We interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. Three young singers who soared to the heights of show business on the current rock and roll craze were killed today in the crash of a light plane in an Iowa snow flurry. The singers were identified as Richie Vallon, 17, Buddy Holly, 22, and J.P. Richardson, known professionally as the Big Bopper. Satellite's electric eyes will scan the Earth's cloud cover, broadcasting data never before attainable. The weather station's batteries will last only two weeks, but it will usher in a new era of global weather forecasting. A scientific triumph for the new civilian space agency, the launching is a vindication for the sleek, three-stage Vanguard space vehicle. One of the most technically sophisticated of the space rockets, the misfortune-plagued Vanguard six times failed in widely publicized launching attempts only once placed a three-pound baby moon in orbit. But on this day, the Vanguard outdoes her designer's hopes. At Cape Canaveral, the nation's newest ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, is ready for its maiden flight. The Air Force's 90-foot missile is more powerful and technically more sophisticated than the Atlas, which is nearing operational status. But the two-stage Titan is still in the development stage. Its ultimate range will be possibly as much as 9,000 miles. But in this initial firing, only the first stage engine will be tested. The second stage is essentially a dummy for proper balance. It's a test with limited objectives, and every precaution that can be taken is taken. The 110-ton missile will be held on the launching stand for six seconds following ignition to be sure that there is no initial misfire in the crucial first moments of flight. A vastly complex countdown nears completion, and the moment of truth is at hand for the Titan. Even at this very moment, the entire world awaits the countdown that will send the first living person hurtling into the unexplored mysteries of the universe. Three, two, one, drop. Y-13, commence your turn immediately. No, sir, I'm going straight up. First man into space. Can science prepare him for what no man has ever experienced before? What thing of unknown terror may return to walk the Earth? Everybody always picking on me. That's him on his knees. I know that's him. Yelling seven come eleven down in the boys' gym. Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown. He's a clown. That Charlie Brown. He's gonna get caught. Just you wait and see. Why 
Cause everybody always picking on me. Who's always riding on the wall? Who's always goofing in the hall? Who's always throwing spitballs? Guess who? Who, me? Yeah. West Berlin's mayor, Willie Brandt, accompanied by Mrs. Brandt, arrives in Washington, D.C. In the course of a one-month tour of Canada, the United States, and Southeast Asia. A key figure in the looming crisis of West Berlin's future, his visit came as Secretary of State Dulles met European leaders to discuss strategy. Brandt tells America that his city will not falter under Soviet pressures. At Fort Myer, Virginia, last rites for crewmen of the unarmed American transport that was shot down last September when it strayed over Soviet territory. From the chapel, the coffins are borne to Arlington National Cemetery, where they will rest in honor. Six bodies were returned by Russia, which denies any knowledge of 11 others aboard the plane. Russia claims the plane crashed and has denounced as false a tape recording of a radio conversation between Red fighter pilots who shot the plane down. The last salute to these men sounds in grim discord against current Soviet talk of wanting peace. after every shampoo. Get Dandricide today. WRCA TV, Channel 4, New York. Good evening. NBC Saturday News, Wilson Hall reporting. Secretary of State Dulles has cancer. The medical report says he will undergo radiation therapy. No further surgery is contemplated. We'll have a report from Washington. Fires across the continent caused 19 deaths. Flood crest on the Wabash passes. Dikes at West Terre Haute, Indiana hold firm. 500 New York bakers working in 15 bakeries ratify a new three-year pact. Fidel Castro accepts premiership of Cuba. Scotland Yard prepares a round-the-clock guard for Greek Cypriot Archbishop Macario. Soon as the honeymoon is over, a bride starts doing dishes and more dishes. Yet she wants her hands to stay lovely. That's why all brides need Lux Liquid. Lux Mild Lux Liquid. Now, all dishwashing products claim they're mild, and some are comparatively mild. But Lux Liquid is Lux Mild, Beauty Soap Mild, and that's only the half of it, because Lux Liquid is doubly mild. It works so well, your hands spend less time in water. Lux Liquid cuts under grease, lifts it up, floats it away. Really a snap with Lux Liquid. Thrifty, too. Drop for drop. 
penny for penny. No other leading liquid washes as many dishes, yet is so mild. Lux Mild to start with, doubly mild. It works so well, your hands spend less time in water. A happy marriage of Lux Mildness and real efficiency. There's no liquid or powder like Lux Liquid. And now here's a scene from next week's story on your Schlitz Playhouse. On the Brink, starring Mercedes McCambridge. There you are. Uh, you want me to load it for you? Oh, no, no. Well, it's not much good to even let us load it. Now, if anybody frightens you, you just yell your head off and let Mark or me come handle the gun. Mark know where it is? Well, of course he does. I'd like to 